E2B Technologies and today we're going to be showing you the Sugar CRM mobile app. Today we're going to be showing it to you on an iPad. Uh, just show you some of the basic logging and editing and pulling up account record functions of the app. Uh, so we'll start it up right here. And here is our home dashboard. On the home dashboard, you can see all of your upcoming events, meetings, and so forth that are assigned to you. You can see records that are recently been updated within the system. You can also, if you hit the star up here, just see your favorites. And it will filter on the meetings and records that you star personally in the system, just to make finding things a little more simple. But right now we'll show you how to pull up an account. Um, here are all the modules pulled out of the side. You can, if you want to just search for a particular contact, you can just click on the contacts, accounts, opportunities, and so forth, and just search from within there. So right now this is filtering through my personal items. So I'll deselect that to search through everything in the system. And then I'll do Sutter Homes. I'm sorry, Sutter Health, I believe there's an account in here. Right there, the account comes up, as does the opportunities and the calls associated with that account. So we'll click on the account right there. And here's what an account record looks like within the Sugar Mobile app. You can see all the sub-panels for contacts, calls, meetings, and so forth that's associated with that account. Uh, if you want to edit that account, you just click the business card view right there. And here is all the information on that account. If you want to edit a phone number, let's say, you just click the phone number and you can edit it right from this view. And then once you're done making all your changes, you hit save. If I wanted to favorite this account so that it shows up on my dashboard and shows up easier to search on, I can just star it by clicking that up there. If this was a iPhone or an Android or a phone, I would be able to click the phone button right there and it would dial the number automatically and log that call in my calls subpanel. Or I can send an email from any device directly to that account by clicking the email button. Or I can send a text message or other such messages directly to that account. If you want to see what calls are associated with this account, you can see the calls right there. Here's a call record again. All the modules work the same. You can click directly into the business card view to drill down and change any of the information in there. If you want to create a call and tie that call to that account, you just hit the quick create button up there and then you can create a related call. It automatically pulls in call with Sutter Health because it knows it's related to that account. You pick your start date, and then you pick your times the same way. Set this one for 4 p.m. You can say whether or not the call was inbound or outbound, whether or not it's planned, held, or not held how long the particular call took. Maybe it was an hour and 15 minutes. You can also send yourself notifications and reminders either by email, emailing you, or you can have it pop up on the dashboard of the web application. You can put a description in here if you want. And then save that. If you're not the person who's going to be on this call, you can assign it to a different user in the system. They want to assign it to Will. Let's go back to our accounts. Now let's say we want to look at the contacts that are associated with this account. 
Here are the contacts associated with that particular account. If you want to create a new contact and have that associated to that account, you could either link an existing record in your system or you can create a new record from scratch. and so forth. If you want to look at opportunities associated with this account, just like calls, contacts, and any other sub-panel, you just click on the opportunities and they pop up right here. Same thing, you can click on a particular opportunity, edit it from directly within here, delete the opportunity if you choose to, and then save your information. You can also see the calls, meetings, tasks, and leads, and contacts associated with that opportunity directly within the sub-panel of the Opportunities module. So let's go back to our home screen here. If you want to quickly create an account, contact, or opportunity, or so any such record in your system, you just hit the Quick Create button up there, and you can quickly create a new contact or account. You can assign that contact, if you choose to create a contact, to an existing record in your system by searching records in your system. The most recent appears at the top. And then you would create that contact from there. If you want to recall a report that you've made in the system, you can go under your modules right here and then click on reports. Here are your reports in the system. Although you can't create reports in here, you can recall any report that you've made and view it. Let's look at this one, the leads by lead source, and click on the document. And here we have the report right there. Let me expand it to make it bigger. We can see that we've had 10 different leads created off of existing customers. We've had 13 come from campaigns, and so forth, with a total of 202 different leads created off of different lead sources. When we're finished the report, we hit Done. And that's pretty much it. That's the basic functionality of the Sugar Mobile app. If you have any further questions about the Sugar Mobile app or Sugar CRM as a whole, or in general, you can give us a call at 440-352-4700 or visit us on the web at e2b tech that's e 2 b t e k dot com and we'll be getting right back to you have a great day once again we're e2b technologies